Revelation 2044. From the 26th of August 1941. God's Permission. Human Free Will. Human free will is the reason for everything people inflict on each other, which so often results in unspeakable suffering and yet is permitted by God. Although his almighty power could indeed prevent it but it would be a restriction of free will if the human being was prevented to carry out what he wants to do. If God took his free will away the human being would be forced back into a state of compulsion. It would be impossible for him to test his free will during his period of life on earth. A human being has to be able to accomplish what he intends to do. Only then can it be said that he has the means of self-determination during life on earth. Only when the effect of free will, in a bad sense, is directed against people who are consciously connected with God and who pray to him for protection, will God prevent the latter from being harmed by bad will, but then the bad will is judged as an accomplished act. At the moment an endless number of people are subjected to the same ill will. Thus they also share responsibility for the suffering of the time. If they approve of actions which result from it, they will not be free from guilt until they reject acts of evil. Condoning an act of evil makes them partly responsible for the suffering that results from it. However, what countless many people consider right, although it is the greatest wrong, will not be reversed by God because people need to understand their wrongdoings themselves or they will always do the same again without recognizing their wrong as such. Nevertheless, this does not mean that God's justice will not intervene when humanity's activity becomes so extensive that humanity itself is in danger. But even this intervention is merely to let people's free will become active again and, in view of the huge suffering, turn towards good. So that the human being now, of his own free will, strives to make up for what he, due to his previous approval, either directly or indirectly has caused himself. God must permit humanity's actions. He does not want to determine the will of a human being before making his own free decision. However, when he has finally decided, God will reduce the effects when necessary and permissible without interfering with the free will of the human being. Amen.